my message is that do not give up exams will be there next year they will be year after next year and then they'll be here but you have to stick to one particular institute and my for plastic surgery my thing was speed and i would suggest speed to every plastic surgery aspirant i mean every one line on apert syndrome everything was from the presentation i am so thankful i saw those ppts before i went to give the exam so that is what i would suggest to everyone that join speed for plastic surgery see all the videos take a basic book like michigan or keynotes of plastic surgery these are very bland books you cannot give your paper on them you have to supplement them with your coaching videos and just see them and for the interview as well just see the basics of the videos and you can do it so i bring in all the wishes and greetings to dr srishti mahe for yes, scoring sir. a topmost rank of cml4 aml8 in the specialty of mch plastic and reconstructive surgery in inss session now the 2023 congratulations to you doctor thank you so much sir doctor uh, can we know uh, your brief background history from where you started till date what all you have done uh, yes sir i did my mbbs from army college of medical sciences delhi and i passed out in 2019 and uh, i did my ms general surgery from bmmc and sabdajang hospital in delhi and i passed out in 2022 now the specific interest why are you interested in a specialty like a plastic and reconstructive surgery any specific reasons that you chose this specialty sir i think it's a very very dynamic branch it's innovative and there's just so much scope and and every time there's something new coming up and i i love reading it actually it's one of the main thing that i love reading plastic surgery i could not sit that long with any other subject that i think i can sit with plastics great so once you decided to do mcs plastic surgery that was your aim to do it and have dream to do it and how did you start when did you start how did you prepare to achieve this topmost rank yes sir so uh, after graduating from my ms general surgery actually uh, most of my training was shadowed by the covid uh, pandemic so i decided to pursue my sr ship as during the time i was not very sure of plastics i was very confused between surgical oncology and plastic surgery so i decided to do my sr ship and during that time it is that when i saw i went to sir john cotis i saw them do and then i realized that it's the latter half of the operation where the plastic people come and they put a cover on the mandible the free fibula plaster that is what caught my attention sir so i decided to i think it was towards end of january 2023 that i decided you know maybe i should leave sir john can totally give my all to plastic surgery now so that's how my preparation started but uh, i was not uh, ready for i and i and uh, so i just decided to read and i talked to my seniors they said that you should have to you have to take coaching actually coaching is a must and most of my seniors suggested speed sir for plastic surgery so i took speed in march sir in march 2023 and uh, i started preparing for i and i in a- for april i and i i scored 38 sir i could not qualify in the first round and uh, i think my biggest mistake was not doing general surgery in that paper it was full of bariatric and adrenal vein sampling and such questions were asked and i was completely stumped so the neat came sir and neat was an opportunity for me to do general surgery i scored rank 634 in neat sir and uh, but i could not get sabdarjang at that rank in counseling so that further motivated me to read for november i and i and uh, i saw your videos are in that video you said one month you don't read general surgery now you only do all your lectures and your notes and i had previously made notes for plastic surgery i followed michigan manual of plastic surgery and on that i made all the notes from videos sir in extra points everything else so i just revised the presentations and the videos and uh, during the last week of preparation i remember you made this video and you said that you know don't do anything give one grand test daily see one presentation daily and that's what i did sir the grand test when i gave the exam it felt like everything was coming from the grand test even the general questions were from grand test and i was so thankful and i was so happy and yes sir yes that is how i prepared very true because a rank in neat keep on waiting for it and a month will go on and no progress but one quick good attempt yes a precise very precise and a focused 
attempt for any SS could change the game. Yes, sir. And it will save a lot of time. Yes, sir. So, because this neat SS and ENSS are back to back. So, yes, that means general surgery 30 questions have been taken care of by neat preparation itself. So, yes. go and shoot straight what you want to do. Even you not started also, you just go and do once. Then it could make a whole lot of difference. And I think you did a great job. And you had well prepared for plastic surgery for a long time. And yes. then you had all the backup when you need to cook on revision and you got it. I'm yes. really happy for you. Can you share something on your for interview? And uh, how did you prepare for interview? What happened? What is the phase that you traveled for the interview and came out of it? So for the interview, I talked to my seniors uh, here in Ames and other people also. And Arush sir's class, I saw sir, one a mock interview was conducted by him, wherein he told all the important topics. So I just decided to stick to those topics. And I went back to the videos, sir. I went back to the videos and I saw the videos again at 2x speed and my notes. I am, that was all, sir. That's all I did. And the basics was the only thing that I did, like burns. Hand drafts, these you cannot miss these. They will give you, I think they'll give you zero if you don't know burns, grafts, and everything. So, basics I brushed up. I left very complicated topics like aesthetics and everything, but I did my basics. Great, doctor. Now, what is the message that you want to give for the future aspirants of MC superficiality and plastic surgery and reconstructive surgery? My message is that do not give up. Exams will be there next year. They will be year after next year and then they'll be here. But you have to stick to one particular institute. And my for plastic surgery, my thing was speed. And I would suggest speed to every plastic surgery aspirant. I mean, every one line on Appert syndrome, everything was from the presentation. I'm so thankful I saw those PPTs before I went to give the exam. So that is what I would suggest to everyone that join speed for plastic surgery. See all the videos. Take a basic book like Michigan or Keynotes of Plastic Surgery. These are very bland books. You cannot give your paper on them. You have to supplement them with your coaching videos. And just see them. And for the interview as well, just see the basics of the videos and you can do it. General surgery part, you cannot leave and you have to read Bailey and Love. I saw all the lectures of the new Bailey lectures. I saw all the lectures. I gave all the grand tests and they really helped me. So, 20th edition you completely watched? Yes. Yes, sir. yes I watched every video from, for the new baby. I have left Sabiston, but I have not left baby. And you have done end to end. And you yeah. have <laughs> not left any stone unturned. And for this preparation, I think that has paid you, even not for neat tests, has paid completely for you in any SS. Congratulations yes, again. Thank and, you so much. Sir. And Time to thank and whom all you want to thank, you can use this platform that they have been with you to, this, to achieve what you are today. I would like to thank my parents first and foremost. It's not easy to see everyone going ahead and your own child is sitting at home and reading for hours on end. So I would like to thank them for their patience and support. And I would like to thank all of my friends, my UG batchmates. They were very, very supportive. and. Uh, I would, I would like, like to thank, thank my guide, guide from Safdarjan Hospital, Hospital and all my seniors of plastic surgery department in Safdarjan. They have been very, very motivating. And it's easy to lose your way, but they are, those guys were there to show me why it's important to not lose focus. Correct. Doctor, we once again wish you all the best, all the success for you as a great plastic surgeon in making. And definitely you will do wonders for the passion you have for the subject. And uh, so for that, advanced wishes and congratulations and best wishes always from us. Thank you so much. Great doctor. Thank you. Thank you.